promised, we uh, are going to produce now a, a new face for a lot of people in front of the cameras, and uh, I'm pleased to, to welcome uh, a new face for you all. If uh, Shannon would like to come into the studio from the green room, and uh, welcome to uh, to Ketrin Town Football Club. Thank uh, you. A physio from Aston Villa, by all accounts. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, Started at Aston Villa this season, so it's a brand new season for me, um, but I'm really enjoying it so far, so it's good fun. How did your involvement with um, Ketrin develop? Um, so I was here two weeks ago covering a game, and uh, one of our physios from Villa had a call from Marcus um, asking for a physio to come over and just help out with the game, um, just because um, Richard Bath was away for that weekend, and since then, just Marcus asked me to be around a little bit more, so... You're here again? Yeah, here again. Enjoying it in Northamptonshire? Yeah, it's really good fun. The lads are really nice. Everybody's really friendly here, so it's good. Well, that can all change, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm going to men mention uh, Eva Canera now um, yeah. from uh, Mourinho. Yeah. It um, was obviously was some um, spotlight news nationally, if not um, over the world, about his um, treatment of one of the uh, medical team there. What are your views on that? Do, do Should managers have that medical knowledge or not, or just leave the professionals to get on with it? Um, I think definitely... You, you all have your role within the football club, coaches have their role, physios and medical professionals have their role and I think you should keep them separate as far as that goes. I think the treatment of Eva was very unfair, it's harsh, um, she was only doing her job at the end of the day, the referee has called her on and as a medical professional you're there to do your job and the health and safety of the players is, your, is at the forefront of what you do so I think it's highly unjust and a bit unfair on her really. Yeah, it does seem that, doesn't it? You know, I mean, there's just seem to be a, a more influx of lady physios mm -hmm. actually at games now. That must be a good thing, you know, for you. And uh, it's better a better sight than seeing some of the men <laughs> uh, amble on to the uh, the pitch. Yeah. You must get a bit of stick at uh, various places. I oh, did, didn't you? you know? Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of banter that flies around being a female in a male-dominated environment. Um, but you just got to take the good with the bad. Give it, a, look, give them it back a little bit, and you just sort of get on with it that way. I think. How have you found the fans here at Catherine? Uh, I had a few comments running around the pitch of the week with my water bottles. Um, some of the comments I probably can't repeat here, but um, no. Well, you could, but we get locked. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, they're not. They're, everybody's really nice so far. One thing we've got to ask about the the old myth of the magic sponge. Has that gone now? And what was actually the magic sponge? Was it just like a sponge and water, like in my day with the, the abacus and? Uh... Yeah, it's a bit. It, that that's long gone now. It's not not about the sponge and uh, the water, as they say. Uh, it's more uh, the, the. I mean, the medical professional is uh, is is one that's high, highly evidence based. A lot of what we do now, um, a lot of thought has gone into it. It's not just. Um, sticking some water on them and hoping that they get better. It's like a very painful knee, you know. <laughs> I, I, I get that all the time everywhere I go. Is my knee's hurting? But, um, no. I've got to try, you know. <laughs> yeah. so also, as well as Aston Villa, you've been involved with uh, Notts County, I believe. Yeah, so um, before being at Villa, I was um, a sort of physio intern at Notts County, working with their first team and youth team over the past two seasons. Um, so, yeah, really good fun. Just got into it from... Um, University and is it something that you plan to do from from college, university, or um, did you just develop that way? Well, I I always going into physio wanted to know knew that I wanted to work in sport, but um, being at university, you have to try different areas. And our physiotherapy is a NHS funded course, so you have to do a lot of your placements in the hospital. Um, but I thought I want to get a little bit of experience. I got in touch with the physio there, and uh, the rest is history, I suppose. So today, are you assisting Richard, or are you in prime position today? Uh, I, more so I'm assisting Richard, I mean he's the, he's the sports therapist here and I'm just coming in for a helping hand where he needs so, um, so helping out with rehabs, helping out with assessing injuries so yeah you might see him on the pitch otherwise I'm just in the dugout. Now, mind you you're right about being a medical professional, there was that incident in was it Spain where a, a player went down didn't mm -hmm. he and one of the players actually stopped him from choking before yeah. the actual uh, physios got on there. There's more of that now isn't there, there seems to be more uh, fateful injuries in football. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, going back to the Eva Carnero incident and even things like Fabrice Mwamba, you, you've got seconds, seconds to be on that pitch and it's a matter of life and death. And not all injuries are fatal. A lot of them, 90% of them aren't. But again, those seconds matter. So I think it's vitally important to have us on the side of the pitch and for us to be doing our job properly. Well, there we are. There's the views uh, from Sharon Smalling. No relation to Chris Smalling. Uh, no. Nope, just yeah. to get one out of the way. We, I was asked that earlier, and uh, Shannon says nothing to do with Chris Smalling. No, so. I'm asked all the time, but no. And one thing, I did ask you prior to coming in here, which team you support beside the Poppies? 
Um, I'd go Villa. Yeah. There we are. It's yeah. Aston Villa. So uh, thank you, Shannon, for taking thank time you. out thank and uh, enjoy the Good game. And uh, we'll see you later. Thank you.